Cheers! I've got my Foxy Fall mug because it's time for the Fox and Wood Fall Festival readathon! Cutie, it's Cunning Little Cutie. I am so excited that you're here today because this week I'm going to be participating in the Fox and Wood Fall Festival Readathon. This is a readathon being hosted by Lexi from Alexandra Roslin as a part of her new Patreon, which if you have not seen it yet, you definitely need to go check it out because it is the most magical, fantastical Patreon I have ever seen in my life. It is set up to be like a secret society. And so each of the different tiers are like different levels or like aspects of the society. It's like Dead Poet Society basically. It is so cool. So the first book that I know for a fact I'm going to be reading for this readathon is The Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches by Sangumon Dana. This is the October pick for Lexi's book club, which she is also doing as a part of her Patreon, and it fits the very first prompt which is to read a book that either has a secret society in it or has some sort of like magical ambient building like a hotel or a cottage or something along those lines. So I'm so excited. I had actually already started reading this book earlier in the month and then when I found out that it was going to be the book club pick I decided to wait for the readathon to read it. It literally feels like the book equivalent of a hug. It takes place in a cottage on like a British seaside landscape and there is a cute little golden retriever. There's also a grumpy sunshine romance with a librarian, okay? Like the grumpy man is also a librarian and I just cannot wait to finish this book. So I'm definitely going to be reading this one. And then I also thought we could go to Barnes & Noble today because I really want to pick out a graphic novel to read for this readathon as well. But I need to kind of see like what my spooky, cute little graphic novel options are. So let's go. Okay, so I just got back home from the bookstore and I ended up getting Garlic and the Witch by Brie Paulson. This was pretty much the book I went in hoping that they were going to have and I snagged the last copy, so I'm super excited. This is actually the sequel to Garlic and the Vampire, which I read earlier this year and it is adorable. It is about an anthropomorphic piece of garlic. <laughs> Um, and basically this witch who is like really into gardening and like herbs and natural remedies and stuff, she is getting a little bit older and she needs some help 
tilling her garden and like managing the crops and stuff. She can't really do it all on her own anymore. So she casts a spell on some of the vegetables in her garden to make them come alive and help her with all of the things that need doing. It's very much like cottage core meets veggie tales. Um, so basically my whole like the vibes that I strive for in life essentially um and so I started reading through this at the bookstore and I'm gonna go ahead and finish it now it is so cute look at her is that not the cutest little face you have ever seen ah I'm so afraid of this candle like as you can see I have a lot of hair and I am like really going for the vibes for you, okay? Like I am really trying hard to make this autumnal because I'm terrified my hair is going to catch on fire. <laughs> Percy wanted to be in the video. <laughs> He went to the vet yesterday, he and um, Harley, which is my other dog, and this one in particular was, com he, he's trembling, he was completely traumatized, like, we've taken him to the vet before, but, I mean, he was just really scared yesterday, apparently, and had, like, all of the other animals at the vet, like, in a tizzy, <laughs> so he basically has not left my side for the last 24 hours, which I'm not complaining about, but yeah, so he's gonna be in the reading vlog today. Okay, so I got through about 70 pages in The Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches, and I have some thoughts, okay? So first of all, I love the three little girls in this book, like the ones that Mika, our main character, is like being hired to teach how to use their magic like they are so cute but then one of them is also kind of like you can't really tell if she's being cute or if she's low-key scary like she kind of like makes these like threats to Mika and you can't really tell if it's like endearing or if you should be you know feared for your life um <laughs> and I love that element like she's absolutely hilarious um and the relationship between them and the guy, like the love interest, is so adorable. Like he is very like fatherly and like paternal and nurturing when it comes to these three girls. And so you learn that like that's kind of why he is so, I don't know, like standoffish in the beginning of the novel is just because he's very overprotective and he does not like the idea of bringing a stranger into the girls lives and so Mika is like really having to work hard to not only gain the kids trust but also to gain his trust um but of course she's going to because she's just the most adorable ray of magical sunshine like I love her so much this is Honestly, I don't usually like grumpy sunshines unless the grump is the girl and the sunshine is the guy, but I'm really liking this. Also, the imagery in this book is so perfect. I can totally picture in my mind where they are at and like what this British seaside cottage would look like and it is just like the coziest place you could ever imagine in the world and also Mika's room is like up in the attic and I've always wanted an attic room like you know where the the ceiling like comes to a point at the top I don't know why I had a best friend when I was younger who had a room like that and I always thought it was really cool and plus in Little Women they always have Joe March like up in the attic like writing with her quill pen until midnight and I guess maybe like my little you know seven-year-old brain when I saw like the 1994 version of that movie just kind of associated that with like attic rooms I don't know but I'm just loving that little detail I also finished Garlic and the Witch by Brie Paulson as I said earlier it is just the most cute adorable oh 
lovely little book. And if you are at all into cottage core or fairy core, like goblin core, really any of the like forest adjacent cores, you definitely need to read this book. It is so cute. Um, both of them are adorable and oh, I just cannot recommend them enough. So yeah, this reading vlog has basically been just all of the cozy vibes, which is exactly what I was going for. Like I could not be happier with the books that I decided to read and just the readathon in general. Um, Lexi, if you're watching this, I just want to say congratulations. I'm genuinely very impressed and very proud of all of the hard work you've put into your Patreon and just everything that you do for all of your followers in general. So thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if there's any way I can be encouraging you or praying for you this week. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Bye!